And then the next parallel was we realized that we... <laughs> Are you ready for this one? The next parallel is we both realized that we have like psychic and medium abilities. <laughs> So how do we start? I don't know. I'm just like looking around and like we did it. We did. We're fancy little podcast girl. <laughs> We've said nothing yet, but it feels done. <laughs> Welcome to Goddess Hangs. Welcome to Goddess Hangs. I'm Sadie. I'm Juliet. We're goddesses. We are. <laughs> and so are you. And so are you. Even you boys. <laughs> Everyone has an inner goddess. Yes. So we wanted to start this podcast because we kind of started our like spiritual mindset manifestation journey Mm -hmm. together like completely parallel side by side (laughs) and it's something that we were both interested in in our life prior to like meeting each other but dived in really deeply together and we were talking on the phone and on zoom and hanging out and having amazing you know, realizations and conversations together. And we were like, we should record these. (laughs) Totally. I feel so, I don't know if it's like adrenaline or what, but I feel so present (laughs) and like so lifted right now. (laughs) We're vibrating. Uh Uh-huh, (laughs) uh-huh. Vibrating at a higher frequency. Oh my gosh. I wish we could use um, a land with the highest frequency. (laughs) That's our intro song. That's my favorite song in the whole world. Maybe we should message her oh my god would you like to sponsor us oh my gosh so this is how it all started Mm -hmm. sadie and i worked at a really amazing crystal and fine jewelry store together yes for a little over a year Mm -hmm. we were hired this i didn't even realize was wild until this very moment we were hired i think three days apart really I swear, I think on one of my first training days, you walked in for your interview. I remember you being there. Yeah. Yeah. And I thought, oh, she seems so nice. That was my first impression. (laughs) The first impression rose for um, (laughs) my bachelor. (laughs) She seems like really nice and I want to be her friend. And then we both stayed um, for about a year and then around the same exact time well before then okay you brought something to all of us Um, yes yeah in the new year i was home for christmas and i was feeling a little i don't know you know when the new year comes and you're like what did i accomplish this year Mm -hmm. what am i doing with my life we all do it i'll Mm -hmm. probably do it again this year even though i've accomplished like more in this one year than my whole lifetime but i'll still do it um and i came across manifestation babe Catherine zankina who's amazing shout out shout out and um so i i discovered her while i was home for christmas and i was like buzzing i was listening to every podcast and i signed up for her like freebies list and went through everything and um then i came back to work and was like you guys (laughs) look at this (laughs) and we started doing manifestation journals at work and listening to her podcast when we were like opening and closing the store and when it was slow and we Mm -hmm. all became obsessed yes well not all of us One person <laughs> was not obsessed, but everybody else. <laughs> it's a very small team, so I should say three of us. <laughs> We're all of us. I'm like, all 25 of us. No, three of us became really obsessed, mm-hmm. and it really bonded us in a special way, though. Yeah. And Sadie made us, um, she used the the brother, I, I found out nobody else calls it a brother P. They call it a P touch. Oh, we, I call it, wait, I call it that too, though. I call it brother P. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> So there's this label maker that we, I learned it as Brother P. Right. And the first time somebody was like, can you get Brother P? I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. Can you, can you use that in a different can sentence? Can you use that? <laughs> I need context clues. Yeah. And so um, she labeled like Juliet's manifestation journal. She gave us all mm-hmm. journals. Sadie was definitely like the head of this, this whole, um, I made everyone do it. Yes. She made binders. <laughs> Here you go. Laminated all these things. Yes. And my little Virgo self was like, mm-hmm. Here you guys go. 
and it was so fun and it definitely boosted sales yeah and we all just loved it and then at the same time th- okay so the parallel number one was that we got hired within at the same time literally i think 72 Days. hours of each other yeah. Um, the second parallel was once you brought us all this information, you and I both right after locked like quarantine lockdown happened, mm-hmm. we both enrolled in that course yes. at the same time and we didn't know. We didn't communicate no. about it. No. Because and then, yeah. I think you texted me, you were like, Oh my god, I'm so excited. I, I did it. I signed up for Manifestation Babes Academy and mm-hmm. I was like, Are you serious? So did I. I was like, <laughs> And it was a bit, it's a big investment. It's like a something, you know, that we kind of put ourselves out there when we mm-hmm. lost our jobs, basically. Mm-hmm. And we we're kind of nervous about where the future was. And we were both like, fuck it. Yes. <laughs> Honestly, it was. And you know what? I'm not ashamed to. Well, I guess I should. Say, we were being. We were on, we, I made more on unemployment at that time than I made at the job. And then the stimulus came in and it was just like, well, I could put it in savings or I could put it towards this, or I could like really invest in my mindset because Mm -hmm. this girl has to know something and I want to know what it is. And we both had that same feeling. Yeah, I was like, okay, this is my chance. I have time and I have more money than I ever had Mm -hmm. (laughs) the recent or pretty far back. Yeah. So... So we both did that. And then the third thing we did was we both left that job around the same time. Mm -hmm. Truly just because, like, I felt like I was being pulled out. Like, yeah, spe- like energetically, like I felt like they were like, OK, time to go now. Right. I went back for one week and I was like, I can't do this. I was already starting, you know, my own stuff. And I was like, I'm spending all this time here for somebody else. Like I could be spending this time on me, mm-hmm. even if I'm not making the dollar you know per hour wage for myself mm-hmm. yet like i was like i can't i can't do this yeah. like, this is time time is money baby i gotta like invest it in myself i have to keep doing that and then i stayed i think maybe two or three months mm-hmm. longer and it was hard to leave because we had an an amazing yeah. amazing like best boss like such a good mentor a such a good person store. it's crystals and you get to wear the beautiful jewelry every day and it was a re- it was such a dream job for like the time that we were there together yeah for sure and then we both also then signed up in another completely separate course a money course money mindset and we didn't communicate about that and it was a different teacher <laughs> and then the next parallel was that we both started like branching out and building our own businesses mm-hmm. And then the next parallel was we realized that we... (laughs) Are you ready for this one? The next parallel is we both realized that we have, like, psychic and medium abilities. (laughs) Like, like very easily, like, opened, like, within... Days. Yeah, like, we... And we... You did the mentorship first, and then I was Mm -hmm. like, well, maybe I should try that. And, like, immediately I was like, Mm -hmm. oh... The things I see in my brain mean things and it just opened up a whole new world. So it was like... And never before in our lives where we were like, maybe I'm a psychic medium. Never. (laughs) Never. And now we talk to dead people for people and... I know. Give them guidance. It's weird. The things we see and hear and... (laughs) So that's just like the bullet point quick and dirty summary of like... we're the same age. We were born like a month apart. uh Uh-huh. And then we met each other and we've just been like this. So parallel. And it was so when um, I was very sad when it was I was it was bittersweet. I was sad and happy when Sadie said she was moving on I from the job. Me, it was so cute. Because I said, oh, we can be real friends now. <laughs> There's always like. I feel like every job I've made is like such good friends at every job, but then it's fun when you leave because there's always that, even if you do get pretty close, there's always mm-hmm. that slight wall up. You right. Know, better not tell them my. Like Sadie my was like calculating my bonuses. Like I. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which is kind of funny to think about now. <laughs> that you and I were like, like in the trenches together. Right. Like, doing stuff. But I, um, I remember leaving on my last day and you, you were not thinking about this at all I don't think at that moment or maybe you were but you didn't say it out loud and I was Mm. like Juliet's gonna quit soon like I knew and that was before I knew I was a psychic but it it, like went through my brain I was like she's not gonna be here much longer yeah it was just like not in a negative way I just knew that energetically we just it wasn't it was time Mm -hmm. for us to take the next step up I've never really like laid it out 
the way that we're laying it out right now. Yeah. And it's extremely w- wild. <laughs> I know. It's weird. It's weird. It's so not weird. Like, Nothing in the universe is weird, though. It's all... There's no such thing as coincidence. Yeah. Synchronicity and, and such. And then we, we met up um, at Gracias Madre. Mm-hmm. And Sadie pulls out her... We're sitting at the dinner table. And Sadie pulls out her notebook. And she's like... <laughs> I have so much to tell you. She's like, I've been looking forward to this. <laughs> and she goes through and, and she tells me everything from um, an Akashic, Akashic record, record reading. reading yeah. And then she's like, I've also decided that we are starting a podcast. <laughs> we I are- saw it in a meditation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then um, there was another one. I told Juliet. I didn't ask her. <laughs> she's like, we're doing this. And I said, Okay. <laughs> And then for a quick second, I was like, I got nervous because yeah. um, one of somebody I know was like, be careful mixing business with pleasure. And then I was like, well, maybe we should. And then I was like, it's going to be great. Yeah. And <laughs> like, we're not, I mean, we're not going into business together. We're not combining our. Say, we're not that close. We're not it's, that close. We're not really friends. <laughs> <laughs> More of acquaintances, really. No, I was saying we're not really. We're not like combining our businesses. No, no, no. Our no. businesses are just very similar, but like mm-hmm. not in a competitive way because we both understand that like we each have our own audience, and you know we just. And I think they would like if they're gonna do some type of course with me they would like love coaching from you and like it's yeah very, exactly we have a very cool maybe someday we'll do like a a joint course together oh my god I would well we have that. some things in the works but hmm. wink wink <laughs> <laughs> i like that wink I, i'm a terrible winker it's not <laughs> i'm i was and then i practiced a lot because i really wanted to do like oh, a cute wink thing. Okay. now i'm thinking about it too much i can't do it anymore it's like oh that's... you're like it's getting worse that's both that's both eyelids but... <laughs> <laughs> if i don't think about it and i do it quick once i start thinking it's about a, it i i i spend a disproportionate amount of time talking about how i think it really is a skill to be able to wink i had this conversation three days ago i've talked about it a lot myself because i couldn't wink I couldn't wink before, and I, I we're just gonna really have to manifest. To. Like, like that was good, was it? I think Thanks I had to, to like. <laughs> now it didn't look. It looks a little more show. twitchy. I feel like I have to like <laughs> move my shoulders with it, or it doesn't work. <laughs> For all of you listening, you're missing out on some really you're gonna watch the jazzy video. <laughs> sh- shoulder situations. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> so then that brings us to the present moment where we are both just so obsessed with like you said like mindset and manifestation and i'm still can we talk a little bit about talking to dead people because yes i i want to know what it feels like for you and then f- what it feels like for okay. me i think it's a little different like like when i know i connect i feel a certain way and i'm curious mm-hmm. would you like to go first i'll go, I go first, first? Okay. i will say i'm like <laughs> I'm a little stage frighty that I'm yeah. sharing this because I I don't share this. I haven't shared this publicly. Right. Yeah. But it's I think anybody who knows me would be like, well, that figure is like, like, they're like, duh. <laughs> they like would, they're like, we already knew that, Julia. <laughs> like if anybody could have done it. So, um, well, OK, quick. Let's talk about Claire's because I also want to say like ooh. what your strength is. Why don't you why don't we teach what they are? So Claire's you've probably I know for me, I had always heard about someone being clairvoyant Mm -hmm. and i just thought that covered all the bases like if you i thought that was equal to psychic but there's i don't remember all of them there's clairvoyant which is to see Mm -hmm. clairaudient to hear Mm -hmm. clairsentient to know right clairsentient is clairsentient to feel feel. what's the there's one that's claircognizant claircognizant to know the no the smell one is a funny word it's like clairalient I don't know. It those. sounds like alien. That happens to me a lot, though. I smell things. Smell. It's like yeah. Claire Al- Alien or something. I should get my notebook. Sorry, Megan, our mentor that taught us. Sorry, this. Megan. <laughs> the audience who's like taking notes are like, oh, now I have to look it up. Thanks. <laughs> uh, but basically, you have psychic senses that are basically equivalent to your regular senses. And mm-hmm. different people have strengths in different Claire's. So 
when you know you go to a psychic slash medium i think most people probably can do both but you might have a strength Mm -hmm. um they probably started out like with one claire and then we work to develop our other ones to kind of like meet up with that because i know i have like one that's like so easy but then i'm like all right spirit like i need you to chime in with these other clairs and that's (laughs) what i'm practicing to be like a more fully rounded what are you strongest at clairvoyant yeah i think me too I see so clearly, but then I'm like, what does it mean? <laughs> sometimes I hear. I can hear too. And then sometimes, I don't, you know what's funny is I don't feel so much. Like I see mm-hmm. it, I hear it, and I know it, but I don't necessarily always like, like the way that so many mediums are like, oh my God, they're making me feel so much remorse or mm-hmm. love or I sort of feel like I'm, <laughs> like reading a telegraph like I don't yeah, always feel that's kind something of good like I've it. I've not, feeling isn't my strongest but I'll randomly feel when I'm out in public and like I think I told mm. you this but one time my boyfriend and I were out at lunch and I started getting tears in my eyes and I was like he was like well, what's wrong we're getting burgers like what's the problem I was like I just feel really lonely <laughs> <laughs> and, and I was feeling, and I knew it was this woman, and I, I, I have, I can't confirm this, but I, I told, I was like, kind of trying to like tune into it, and I was like, I think she like recently lost her husband, and they used to come here, and I think she's feeling lonely, and then I, it was just so, <laughs> so I felt like unexpectedly, but it's not always the strongest one that comes through, but that was like an example. I was just like, I wanted to go talk to her, but I was like, I can't really say like. I can feel your pain. (laughs) (laughs) She'd be like, please go away. It is a pandemic. You are too close. And I think her husband liked sailing because I kept seeing a sailboat. And I was Mm. like, so I started talking to Craig about, I was like, have you ever gone sailing? And he was like, um, no, why? And I was just trying to get her to overhear if maybe she would start talking to us. my husband, Richard. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) It didn't work. So I don't know. But we know what I've always had. And I, I thought maybe you get this too. I thought this was something... Let's, this is a quick segment called Things I Thought Everybody Else Could Do. Yes. Okay. This <laughs> happens typically with with men. Um, sometimes a man can, sometimes I won't even see them. Sometimes a man will be driving past me or somebody will walk past me. Um, but my whole body will go like, and I'll like feel this like shiver. full on shiver. And mm-hmm. I'll just know that like they did something. Mm. And I'll just like, Ugh. like I'll like get like a vibe and I'll have yeah. to like shake it off and then it goes away quick because yeah. they like move a different direction but like that those come out of nowhere and I like thought heebie-jeebies total heebie-jeebies because I yeah I get bad shivers and then like good shivers mm-hmm. yeah shivers another thing is like you just like seeing people in public and like having a whole story appear in your head yes i thought i just had a great imagination i thought i I just had a great imagination i remember being a kid and telling my mom stories and she was like what are you talking about (laughs) i think i was reading people psychically because i'd be like that guy over there he's not great because da 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 da." and she'd be like what don't talk about people like that like (laughs) i come up with all things i had no idea yeah yeah, i think that's what it is Mm -hmm. and then because i'm pretty strong at like seeing a picture um of somebody alive or somebody um who's Mm -hmm. passed on and i remember i was i was with my boyfriend victor who is super like supportive and respectful of this whole world but Mm -hmm. like your your boyfriend is much more like in it with you yeah he's like i love all these things and mine's like i don't get it but good for you like yeah that's cool (laughs) (laughs) he'll be like i went to work today and i'll be like i spoke to somebody's grandma and he's like all right what's for dinner like (laughs) moving on but i showed him a picture and i was like what do you see like what comes through when you look at this picture Mm -hmm. because to me it just seems so it just felt so like oh it's very obvious like there's an insecurity about this and there's a Mm -hmm. fear about this and and he's just like i don't know it's a guy yeah i'm like oh (laughs) i think and when i used to do stuff like that like um i don't know for instance like i'd be in line somewhere and I, i don't know why i would just i would think like oh this person's about to say this and then they would say it like a minute later and I'd be like, well, why did I think that? And then I'd be like, well, I guess I had context clues because we are waiting in line. And, <laughs> um, it is hot out and, 
you no, know. you could feel that they were uncomfortable. But I, I would, but, I, but I would very specifically, it was like the exact phrase would go through my head and I would mm. know which person was going to say it. So, but, you know, you explain it away, which I'm yeah. curious if anyone's listening to this and you're like, oh, my God, I do all these things and I thought that was normal. There's got to be at least like, a handful of people. Comment below if you're watching the video or DM us. We'll put our... Um, are things in the description yeah but i want to know if you're discovering at this very moment that you are indeed psychic because <laughs> you honestly i have a theory everyone that, is that, yeah <laughs> most people are you just have to tap into it yeah okay so going back we were talking about how how it feels like the medium stuff comes through yeah for you so we're full disclosure we're such newbies yeah we are developing psychic medium we're developing and um i think that's why it's so cool that like we're sharing our experiences mm-hmm. because there's probably thousands of people who are also developing and yeah. the only people who are talking about it are have been doing it for 15 years yeah. so yeah um so for me it, it it comes through really gently mm-hmm. it comes through like just thoughts passing by pictures passing by um, sometimes I'll see maps with like certain parts circled. Mm-hmm. I'll see numbers. Um, it all, it all shows up kind of, I don't, that's the best way I can explain. Sometimes yeah. I'll hear a voice. Like a few weeks ago I had, um, I, I think a younger guy who had gotten in some kind of accident and I heard his voice. He was like, yo, you can hear me. <laughs> it was really, I was like, I can. Yeah. <laughs> what do you want to say? And just all these it is really special i think the most special part is that like i love i've always wanted some proof that there's more than this life there's mm-hmm. somewhere we it makes go you there's... very like unafraid of... totally i feel very comfortable i don't want to die anytime soon and i'm sure if i'm faced with it i would have some fear come up but like i feel mm-hmm. very comfortable with the concept of death now and it, and it if not if nothing else like obviously it's so wonderful to help people feel that connection to their loved one and to heal yeah, but if funny. nothing else like i'm like oh my god like there's there's something that's going on yeah and this also for both of us more parallels we you experienced a big loss like in your immediate family mm-hmm. and then i experienced like two big losses back to back like in like one generation up and so i i think sometimes it that can spark it's very common like wanting to yeah communicate and being open to that you're trying to find your connection because you know like i have this imagery of like i actually had a dream that like my mom was like i lost my mom that's who we're talking about but that she was walking in front of me and i was like trying to like tap her on the Mm. shoulder and i couldn't quite reach and that's how it felt where it's like aren't I supposed to still feel close to my mom in spirit? How do I do that? It was such like a journey to get there. And now now I can sit down and I just picture my mom's face and then she's there. And I, I like the first time it happened, we both, start, we both started laughing hysterically and she was like, I'm always here, but this is different. Like, oh. <laughs> she didn't, we were both, we both just like were laughing and then she was trying to tell me stuff and then we were like, ah! like, <laughs> Um, but now she, and I, she's just like here and like she she gives me the shivers sometimes where I'll be mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. kind of questioning something or oh that's I'll be like oh that's cute and she'll I'll look like this and like oh my mom thinks it's cute too or oh. you know <laughs> I, sometimes my grandpa will come through and not like in a I love you honey kind of way but like <laughs> I was like maybe if I'm don't sell the stocks <laughs> don't touch the stocks and i'm like okay you're like fine change the oil like he comes through like because when when, when he was around he was like how's the car running do you need any money like he was so so like fatherly to me yeah and (laughs) that's how i hear him get an oil change (laughs) yes um how does it come through for you you tell me tell me yeah i i always get really hot Ooh, my ears get really hot and i think it's because i'm like hearing i don't Mm. necessarily like clear audience isn't my strength but like my ears get really hot um and that's how i know i'm like vibrating at the right frequency i guess to like speak with spirit but um i have felt 
um i feel in terms of like i can feel what kind of like love it is which is like really special like i feel like really strong unconditional love come through and then i'll be like this is like very sisterly or motherly or brotherly or uncle uncle uncley or whatever (laughs) it is so that's really cool and special to feel um and it actually makes me pretty emotional because it's kind of like this sense of like um like i miss i miss like i'm with them but i miss being with them in the physical world you know so that's that usually comes through first and i can establish like the connection um but i see a lot of like plant and animal symbolism which is really interesting oh, I like that so i've been having to learn what like different animals represent and like flowers and stuff because it started in my meditations and i think it's because i needed to start learning but and usually the animal will mean something to them and mm-hmm. the flower but sometimes it'll be like they'll be like i don't know and it'd be like okay we're gonna look like at the end of the session we're gonna like look up what that flower is and then it'll be like a flower from like that grows in a certain region and they're like oh my god that's where my family's from or something like that it's very okay specific and like i don't always know what that flower or that plant or whatever and they don't always know and then we look it up and it's like makes sense so it's really interesting um so i'm trying to memorize all these like plant meanings and stuff that's so cool um but yeah it's a little different I feel so heightened right now. It's insane. I know. I feel kind of like... Like I'm woozy. I know. Like, do we need to like ground for a second? Maybe. I'm like... (laughs) My roots are growing down. (laughs) My ears were getting really hot, so I am vibrating higher. (laughs) Here's a fun question. Yes. Since beginning this, what are... What is one or a couple of like the most wild on the nose how could you possibly have known that things oh yeah the actually the first psychic reading i did Mm -hmm. so psychic reading is reading someone's energy that is alive and then a medium reading is communicating with energy that's crossed over i don't know if we said that and um so the first psychic reading i got as an assignment so we just got the picture of a woman and i had to type everything down And I was like, I remember reading the list back to my boyfriend, Craig, and like, we were like laughing because we were like, I was like, I guess I'm going to send it. And that night I was like, so in my head, I was like, why did I send that? None of that made sense. (laughs) But I I freaked the lady out because (laughs) I I saw like everything I saw, like, and then I learned that I needed to like kind of work on beyond my clairvoyance because I just saw so much stuff, but like there was a lot in it but for example one piece was that i i like wrote down i was like well i saw a lot of fruits and vegetables and then i and then i just saw bell peppers and it turned out when she went to the farmer's market the day before she had like admired the bell peppers she thought they looked so beautiful at the farmer's market and she's like i can't wait to buy those bell peppers and then she for some reason shopped her other vegetables first and then she went home and she realized she forgot to buy the bell peppers <laughs> spirit was with her in yeah that and then she was like how could she possibly you know like there's no way i could just come up with that that's right, very right, right. specific <laughs> so when people say like well can't you just say general stuff and anyone can apply it to themselves and i'm like that's not what's happening here let me show tell you this story <laughs> mm-hmm. and then i had seen like um like a little boy on a scooter and she was like oh my god i'm planning on buying my nephew a scooter next week and then i saw the fuzzy slippers she always wears and i don't know it was just really like really specific and it was cool because it was my first one and i was like oh i can do this <laughs> i'm really doing it <laughs> it is really exciting i still every time i do a reading i'm like how did i do that yeah that's how i feel yeah that's how what's I your feel. most um, um i have a few things. The, uh, recently, um, somebody who was concerned about like a girl who went missing mm. sent a picture of her, and like I sort of knew immediately, like she's not like she's her time came and went, but yeah. um, I didn't know like where in the world <laughs> she was right. from, but I was immediately shown a map of the United States. I was immediately shown. Um, north and south carolina but then i thought that's too specific i should probably just say 
um, Virginia down to Georgia or whatever. Cause I was like, I'll just add a couple more States. But I said something specifically about North Carolina and, um, like just all these details. And, and then when the person got back to me, they were like, here's the article from this girl. And that's exactly where she went missing was North Carolina. And well, I was like, that's wild. It could have been no Sweden. It could have been anywhere. Mm-hmm. Um, you could like be one of those, you help the detectives kind of psychics. I would absolutely love that. I think it'd be draining, but I think it would yeah, be. Yeah, it would be. Because um, um, I've been looking at all of these stories of, because the, the CIA and the FBI have like psychics on staff. To is help that our next stuff. move? I don't know if I want to work with the government, but I, but I'm like they would probably offer us some nice. Yeah, health but benefits. they have they have them on staff. That's a real thing. Like psychics aren't woo woo people. Like the government works with them. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Um, another one was somebody sent. Their I mean, we're in LA. I'm sure there's plenty of cases that they could use psychic help with. Sometimes I can, like, see city. the face of what somebody looks like. I see faces so clearly, mm-hmm. but it's so hard. I need to get better at describing them. Because I, I guess if I had one of those police drawers that could sketch or something, but mm-hmm. I can I immediately see what a person looks like. Because I, I don't look at pictures when I meet with people. I just see what happens, and I'm like, I can see what they look like, but I don't know how to describe it. I just pictured us trying to like draw what we. Yeah, think the I wish I was an artist because like. I see advertisements for these people that are like, I can draw your soulmate or whatever. Like, there's like, I'm like, that's cool. I could if I was an artist and maybe I need to train because I could draw who I see and people, you know. But I can usually describe a distinguishing feature, like that's they good. have like a pointier nose or like one woman had like not like bushy eyebrows but her brow bone was like more prominent and i don't know it always works out but it's just so cool because you can see i had one last week where um the person had like lost their best friend and i said she keeps saying like she's showing me 42 and saying like happy birthday how was the birthday and she's like i just turned 42 that's crazy just like things that are like so spot on or so fun or um like somebody sent a picture of their dad and I said oh my god he's sh- he's he's showing me his hands on the piano and I'm hearing the jazz music and he's like and all these things and he's like that ah, was his professional career and it's it's pretty it's fun that like the excitement is so shared yeah I'm just uh, as excited as you are when mm-hmm. I see things I know I and it's funny because um I I see so much that isn't like quite literal so I have to explain to people, I'll be like, you know, f- broaden your mind a little. For example, I saw this like little alive duck for a girl and I was just like, I, just, I see a duck and it, and an and alive duck doesn't mean anything, but like her brother used to call her ducky. Oh, so that's how it, I didn't like hear ducky as like the nickname, but I saw a duck yeah. and like, um, I'm trying to think of another example of, now I'm going blank. There was another one that was funny. Oh, um, I saw like an alive monkey with a hat on and the woman's little girl's favorite toy was like a stuffed monkey with the hat on. But I saw like an alive <laughs> monkey <laughs> and he was wearing a hat. It was very comical and I felt very funny <laughs> explaining that. The next thing I'm seeing is a an alive monkey <laughs> I wearing see a, monkey, a small um, hat. Dancing and wearing a hat. Uh, you know it's just so funny because it's like it comes through very like i don't know yeah like i don't see like it in cartoon i see very alive literal things it is a (laughs) chimpanzee and it is he's wearing he was wearing you know those um chimpanzees with the Uh symbols it was like that kind of hat like those little red (laughs) and like the toy was a little knit and wearing like a beanie it was different but (laughs) it was the same thing just very funny so what what is like our this is the thought that just came through me like there's got to be somebody listening who's Mm -hmm. like sort of hasn't like taken the step to even begin developing or being open to it but they do have like a little bit of a desire Mm -hmm. like what what would we leave them with what would we share with them i think i think kind of what i mentioned before and i do this with my coaching clients now because after I did it with Megan it was so powerful Mm -hmm. um ego versus intuition 
Mm. Learning about that. Because even if you don't consider yourself psychic, once you get to know your intuition, you feel so much more like confident and like clear, like you a question a question a situation comes to you and you know yes no it's not this i want to say yes but i want to say no but whatever it is like ego versus intuition has made the biggest difference in my life i feel like i love that yeah what would you say i think i think piggybacking on intuition like if if you're interested in something and if that interest doesn't go away mm-hmm. and if you keep finding something like really intriguing, um, then if like if <laughs> pay attention to that, <laughs> because the things that are the most like fascinating to us are oftentimes trying to like call us in that direction. Yeah, we have desires placed in our heart for a reason. Mm-hmm. There's a reason you think about things. There's a reason you're interested in them. They were divinely placed there. Yeah. For, re- for you know, and it's it's just so cool. I just think that. And also to know that, like, like I hope that we're, like, a cool example of, of like, women who um, love what we love and do what we do and are learning and growing mm-hmm. and, like, really transparent about the process and, like, being towards the beginning of it. And also, like, we don't... Ha- like we you could be kind of a magical mystical person mm-hmm. and still and you don't have to have like a spooky looking <laughs> wardrobe or you or, know what or I mean? only wear flowy dresses and yeah and i don't know crowns of crystals which i actually do want a crystal crown that sounds for personal fun. reasons but <laughs> <laughs> and professional reasons <laughs> for professional i like it on my coaching calls and i'm like yes let us begin. Because <laughs> any psychic that I ever walked into as a kid, they were like, so not like, yeah. hip or approachable or... You didn't identify with no, that No, that's all. exactly how to phrase it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think we're new to this and we're very just everyday girls, I think. <laughs> we're the we're girl very next special door. and unique, but we are like, you know, we're... <laughs> <laughs> the girl next door who has a big secret. <laughs> who has a big secret. Who knows all your secrets? No, that's not what it is. Now, I, I tell people, I'm like, don't be afraid. I won't I won't read anything you don't want me to read. Because I think that's mm-hmm. something that makes people nervous. I'm like, no, no. You, you, I respect yeah. your boundaries psychically. I'm not going yeah. to have to open up I always to me, promise, but... like, I'm not going to give you, like, terrible news. Yeah. I also, you get to tell spirit or you know god or the universe however you like to phrase things what you do want to know what you don't want to know i don't want to know future catastrophic events or Mm -hmm. (laughs) tragedy that is impending or anything like that unless it's preventable then i guess yeah but yeah yeah i feel like i just did a confessional (laughs) I'm a little nervous to share this with my friends and family. (laughs) I know. I actually haven't really, um, like, I've talked to my dad and my brother since I've, like, come out of the developing psychic medium closet, Mm -hmm. but they haven't said anything about it to me, so I feel like they're, like, (laughs) cute. (laughs) Oh, Sadie. Yeah. Uh, But, Yeah. It's all very exciting. We're going to grow together. We've grown so much together. Mm -hmm. I think about when we met and like who I was then. We're completely different people. Totally, totally evolved. Yeah. And just so much, I think like, I know people say, I used to think this was sort of a corny phrase, but now I love this phrase. And it's the thing of like, it feels different when you are in alignment Mm -hmm. with who you are, who you truly are, what you truly want to do like how you truly want to spend your time how you truly want to earn your income like there's yes it just it feels different like dr- like massively different and it and that's i think the huge shift because our essence i think is the same like yes we were still well, like sweet silly girls yeah but i'm the same human being but yeah i mean i'm more in alignment because when i was i mean so anxious all the time um, always like feeling a little frazzled like and now it, I'm not doing anything differently other than 
you know changing my mindset to be mm-hmm. like i get to do what i want to do and i can make money doing it and that's the only real change <laughs> yeah and yeah i don't know that's it it's all starts here here oh. here <laughs> <laughs> sometimes here some people are gut gut feeling people <laughs> well it's fun so we will have so much to talk about we will have so many like of our spiritual stories to share yes. we will have so many like aha moments and breakthroughs, breakthroughs to share yes and i think this is gonna be a lot of fun thanks guys for tuning into our first episode we love you we love you very much and thank we, you uh, we can't wait for this to get bigger and better every single episode always growing mm-hmm. always growing and always um Nope, that's not the kit. <laughs> We're going to leave that in. <laughs> nope. We need to come up with a catchphrase, but it's not here this episode yet. Not Spirit, yet. <laughs> bestow upon us our catchphrase. God is hangs. God is hangs. <laughs> does whatever a god is hangs, hangs does. does. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>